Hey everybody, this is a glider cat and it's time to play. We're back in Transport Fever 2. Let's see, what did we do last episode? Boy, we spent the entire episode kind of messing with our two uh, cargo stations here, road cargo stations. We've cleared the congestion here, just outside of the, the uh, sawmill, bringing in logs and picking up the lumber. No issues there. Let me hit play, we'll go double speed. <clears throat> no congestion there. We... Oops, it's saving now, so it's hiccuping while it saves. And we kind of solved some of the traffic by just making sure it doesn't cross over itself. So we put this kind of goofy looking bridge here. We will, over time, maybe get better <laughs> at making this look reasonable. And then over here, where we're picking up the logs, we um, added some lanes. We've got three lines going through here. They don't cross over each other. And the only hiccup we're having now is the wagons seem to stop here for an unknown reason. They're not really waiting for traffic to clear. Their lane is wide open. I don't know if it has to do with these guys coming, but that is slowing us down. And I'm not sure how to resolve it. You can see there's plenty of capacity over here at the station they're going to. These guys are just having a hard time getting out. Don't know why. There's no waypoint there. I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to let that run. We'll see if it sorts itself out. I really don't know. I don't know how else we could tune this better than we have. All right. Let's take a look at how things are going. If we look at our city here, Carrollton, our starting city. Growing, then we had a dip, and now we're getting back to growth here. That was that dip is probably while we were working on our stuff. 434, we're 80% supplying the tools. That's the line we've been working on. We'll see if that improves. Fuel is looking pretty good at 90%. Hard to complain about that. We're getting a total bonus here of 200%. We're paying a price on traffic. So we're sending, you know, I think it's the carriages that are delivering product through town. They may not be happy about that. Not sure what we can do about that either, to tell you the truth. And then we're paying a hit on the air quality. I'm not sure as much we can do on that one either. Let's take a look at the zoning and just see. Here's residential. And where are we dropping off our product? We're, let's see. Just looking if there's a place I can toggle on or off the indicators. I guess that's here, right? Let's. Um, I want to just see where we're dropping things off. Bus and tram stops, depots. Road vehicles, towns, industries, income, signals, depots, stations. I'm wondering where we're dropping our product off, like this icon right there. Let's see. Yeah, that goes away. I guess that's considered a bus or a tram stop, even though that's a truck stop. That's where we're delivering our product. It's in the industrial area. And I think the pollution only has to do with the residential area. So there's not much we can do. The only thing we've got running through there are trams. But anyway, let's turn on the calendar here. I turned down, I turned off the date progression while we were spending a bunch of time fixing those truck stations or tuning them. Let's kick that back on. We'll just run it at a quarter speed. Check this again. Yeah, there's still this weird gap. Lost productivity for no reason that I know of, unless that's supposed to be like a traffic light. I don't know if we get one-way streets. Some way to avoid that, but these guys... I guess if this was a one-way street, they would never have to worry, right? Maybe they're thinking they have to... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that is. A little irksome. Let's take a look at our oil line here. It's doing pretty good. 
We could do the same sort of thing over here and try to do it neater. Got tons of money. Look at this. We're two million. Um, two million in the bank with no debt. So that's everything we achieved last episode, just by kind of playing around while we're making profit. Is uh, we're in a pretty good financial situation, but we're gonna need a lot. We're gonna need a lot to uh, invest. So I don't mind that racking up while we kind of focus here on Carrollton. Let's take a look at our transit lines, or all of our lines. How about that? And can I move this one? Yeah, I can. Let's see who's profitable and who's not. All right, logs. We're losing money on our log lines. We just worked on these. So hopefully they will balance out. This says... I don't know why it says plus 12. Oh, I see. They're showing me whatever. Eight, and they're saying there's 12 more to in that line. So we've got 60 vehicles doing logs. Only one of those lines is profitable. That's hard to believe. How about our tram lines? Same situation as before. Uh, let's see. We're meeting the need. I don't see full trams. We could maybe add a car down here. Do Southwest 1, but then again, not making much money there. I don't see much unmet demand there. Everybody else is profitable. It's just those log lines. Man, that's a little upsetting. I got to think it's because of the delays. Right? It's just taking them a long time to get out. That is so strange. Really strange. The three went there. All right, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to load the. I'm going to reload the game. Save and reload, and we'll see what happens. Let's. Let me be right back. All right, I'm back. I reloaded the game, and. And look at the, oh, no, it stops. Bummer. Still stopping there. I'll have to maybe Google that and see if I can find a solution to it. I don't know if it's laying down more road or starting over with that. It doesn't make sense for these guys to be stopping there. Not that I know of. Um, I guess I could branch this out further so it's not right at this intersection, this three-way intersection. Let's try that. Let's try it. Uh, we're going to keep running into this. Let's do something like that. Boom. And let's delete out this other stuff. At least one segment of it. We need to keep everybody moving. Let's see what happens when this long wagon train here gets to this intersection. There's going to be a little bit of merging. Temporarily, but no one else should be coming this direction. I mean, this will be worth it if it works. Looks like they're having less problems. I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, these guys are merging. I'm okay with that. I'll do triple speed. Let's uh, cut to the chase here. Are they going to stop or are they going to run? They're still going to stop. Well, yeah, a little bit of a hiccup. Not as bad as it was. I don't think. There's three. Is this guy going to hiccup? Yeah. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if they treat every intersection as a light. Hmm. We could make this entirely a closed loop if we wanted to. So there's no intersection. Just come straight into here, cut off this road. But that's fairly drastic. But we could, and I think, no, this guy, there does need to be a road connected here. 
Okay, it looks like they're making it through. You know, a little bit of hesitation there, but we've got hesitation here too. Let's see. Yeah, every few they stop. Might just be one of the mechanics in the game. Like, I don't know that we can overcome that. But unless we get bigger roads or something. Let's see. Let's check the roads. Four lane road or two lane road. If we did four lane roads, maybe we would, we would, we would not have this issue. Or we could at least get more uh, carriages going at a time. It does seem a little better than it was. All right, well, let's let that go. Getting off kind of a slow start here this last couple episodes. This one, do we want to do the same thing? We've got people crossing over each other. Maybe this won't be an issue as we do climb up the technology tree. Guy okay, is over supplied a bit. Overloaded, I should say. Would it help to do anything about that? I think I'm going to let that go. Let's think about where we want to um, expand to. Now we looked at, we looked over here at Roseville. We've got the wheat to the food processing plant, turn it into bread, and then we can supply bread here. And then we can also bring fuel over to Roseville as well. Um, yeah, let's see. It's not a small trip to get the fuel down to maybe like the coastline here. And then we could deliver it by ship, but that is a ton of money. That's a ton of money. I tried it and had to restart because I ran, I went, basically went bankrupt. Um, I had issues with these stations. That's why we worked on them. And the money wasn't flowing and I was spending money and generating a bunch of maintenance. That's a big investment. Let's, we could do the bread part of that. The other option we've got is just to bring oil down here or fuel down to Arlington. Arlington needs fuel. We could set up a train to do that. Anybody else need fuel? We could set up one train that just does kind of back and forth. Right, comes through here and stops off somewhere in here. And then we unload the uh unload the oil to uh, unload the fuel to a truck station and then deliver it into town. That's an option. What else do we have here around Coralton? Potentially. Bunch of farms over here. Let's see, how about... Main station. The other thing I don't know is if as these towns grow, are they gonna want more products or is it always gonna be just the two items that they have? Guessing it's just the two. If we level this up, if we start delivering more fuel to another town, we're going to have to upgrade these lines quite a bit. How would we want to do this? We probably want to start thinking about trains. Could do... Let's see. Pick up crude, drop it off. Or we could do the fuel. That would get a bunch of trucks off the road. If we could 
supply our factories by train, that would sure solve a lot of problems. How do we want to do this? Or should we just try... <laughs> we just mess with this like crazy. I was going to say we could try a train line just to take all these trucks off the road. We have a tiny little track with two stations that just went through here and supplied the logs. Hmm. Not sure what makes the most sense. But we just got this going. Fairly well tuned. Perfect. Fuel, fuel. How do we want to do this? And in here. Yeah, just trying to think of a good route. What we can do. Wanted to really load up on fuel. This one's always, we're always going to deliver into town with the truck here into Coralton. But if we made this a massive fuel factory, there's a couple things we'd want to do. We'd want to probably train in this whole production line somehow. How would we do that? We have a loop. I'm still pretty novice on mapping out transit stuff. Let's see. Crude to here. Got to have the demand first for the growth. You could put it in a train station here. I guess I just got to do it. Let's just start playing around. We'll see what we end up with. So I can sit and think about it for 12 days. Let's go with a... We want a cargo station. We want a terminus station. Let's try a cargo terminus station here. Gotta be near this thing. Boy, it's really got to be near this thing, right? Or here. Anywhere along here would work. And any train coming in here is just going to come to pick up fuel or drop off the oil. So why don't we start with four lanes. Tracks, let's do four for the heck of it. We've got some cash. What's that going to cost? And then let's make this longer plan for the future okay we're gonna have to tear up road to make this happen let's see what we can do with this yeah let's do it i'm gonna pause the game probably while we play with this we're gonna bulldoze this boom boom grab that train station this is gonna be a big investment so we'll see what we get how this all works out. That's connected to there. We're going to drop off oil and pick up fuel from here. The terminus station, we're not going to go through. Boom. Okay, then for the town, do we want to do the same thing? Do we want to have a terminus station that you go in if you need to drop off products? Otherwise, you kind of continue on. That's where I'm a little not so sure. Let's try a regular station, regular cargo station. We'll do the same thing, four lanes. 
just to get us started, we'll see. It's cargo, I think. All those tracks can get to the cargo, I hope. This one's going to be a pass through, so let's do it like this. Boy, we've got a hillside there that's going to hurt our growth later. Look how much this is going to cost. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe that's not so bad here. Let's try it. Like I said, we're going to experiment. I'm going to make some mistakes. Bam. Let's connect these up. Or let's get our road going over this all. In fact, let's, we've got some cash. We don't have a ton. We just burned through quite a bit. Let's repair our road. I'm going to go for the large four lane street. We'll start upgrading to this. Let's see if I can get over this thing. Okay, they're letting me over. Barely. Bridge pillar, too much slope. Okay, I'm trying to get across. Too much slope. Let's see if I can go a little bit lower, a little bit lower. Let's see, is there some kind of special thing? How do I get across here? Just... Can you not? Okay, can I go under? Let's try that. Down, 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 down. Can I come under this thing? Collision. Okay. Escape out of that. Let's take back more of this road. See how we can make this happen. Not going to be cheap. Hmm. We know this is a trouble intersection. I wonder if I should do it over here. I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Don't worry about it. Let's go down. Can I get under this thing safely? Apparently not. Well, now it's happy, but boy, it's not cheap. Not cheap. Do it halfway to there and see if we can come back up. I'm not sure where we're at in terms of the ground level. I'll take it. All right, now we, we have a route. I'm going to hit play just to see if trucks will go through there. The carriages will go through there. Let's build the tracks. At least one set of tracks. We're going to pick up fuel. I don't have a master plan here. Try that. Could have made it cheaper, but I'm going for some time here. It's taking me forever to do this. And let's put a train depot somewhere. Be jammed in over here, I think. Let's do it. Buildings, train depot. Run it. Kind of like this. Maybe over here looks okay. 
gonna limit our lanes. Uh, let's come back a little bit. How about over here? And get that hooked in. Okay. And then we need to create our demand over in Arlington. So that means a truck station somewhere. Buildings, truck station within range of this guy. Okay, is it highlighting? What do I got to do? I have to be over here. Okay, let's see. I got to be really close, don't I? Do you indeed. This is not going to give us much opportunity for expansion. Let me experiment. I think if I run a road off of that, let me try. Let's get to street. Um, I'm going to go dirt road just for experimenting. I think that's going to give me some options. We do it like this. Let's just, let's just find out. Okay, that's now connected. And I've now put a truck station over here and be connected. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. It may not be perfect, but it'll get us going. Okay, I'm out of cash. Let's go start going back into debt. We were doing so good. Borrow a million. Boom. Right there. We could save money on a depot by just sending trucks down. Do we have a route? We don't. Um, we do. Trucks can get over here. <laughs> it's a long track. We probably need to put a depot here. It's not a big deal. Let's, uh, I don't think they're that expensive. Road depot. Ooh, they're not cheap. It's cost of a vehicle or something. Let's, uh, pop this guy. That's fine. Now we need to deliver that fuel once it gets here. Looks like over this way. Okay, it says we got a tip here in the top left. Railroad tracks have different speed limits. A layer shows the maximum permitted speeds. All right. We're nowhere near having to worry about that just yet. Let's look at our zones. Okay, these, are, this is the industrial area. Let's plop down a truck unload stop. There, they all need the fuel. Anywhere along here is fine. That looks good. Boom. Get a line going for that. New line. We want to pick up from here. Drop off here. We'll call this Arlington. Arlington Road Fuel to Town. I think, well, we'll do one just in case we have more routes later. We'll add trucks last. We'll add carriages, I should say, last. What? Is left. Gonna add our train to bring fuel. Let's buy a train. We've only got one choice for engine, looks like. That's this guy. Boom. And we've only got one choice for anchors, I think. Yeah. This guy. Let's start out with how much are these? Does it say? Tank car. These all the same price. Passenger. Cargo. Tank car. The train's costing us 258. If I add this. 462. Oh man, these are expensive. Let's start with just two. <laughs> uh, how much do they hold? Capacity seven. That doesn't sound like much, does it? Let's start small. Okay, we're going to buy it. 
Boom. We need a line, so let's do that. Set line, new line. We're gonna pick up here and deliver down here. We don't have to worry about crossing paths, I don't think, with cars. Let's name that one. This is oil. Let's do train. Hmm, how do we want to do this? Let's, since we're delivering into Arlington, let's start it with Arlington. Arlington, train, oil, to town, fuel. Fuel to town, one. Boom. Now we've got a train. Uh, we got a, did we assign that to the route? Let's see, I think we did. I want to make sure that the train is assigned to that route. That's Arlington. Yep, yep, we're good there. Still playing. Oh, our train is going. All right, let's get our trucks assigned. Carriages, sorry, I'm going to say trucks forever, probably. Cargo. Let's start with just four. Put these on the Carrollton... Road route, fuel, nope, not Carrollton. We want Arlington Road, fuel to town. That's our route, boom. So here come our carriages out of the depot. Now, remains to be seen. Oh, is this guy within range? I hope so, looks like it. This guy should be delivering fuel. I hope I okay, click on it in our fuel refinery highlights. So this should be within range. This one should be getting fuel soon on its cargo platforms. We'll find out. This is not a cheap endeavor. I'm sure this guy doesn't have any yet. Everybody, everybody, everybody. There's our carriages. Pretty basic route. They're hooked up. They're all connected to the train station, so we should be good there. Now, oh, oh, I see the little fuel icon above. So we are getting fuel. That is good. Now we're going to have a problem getting refined oil into our fuel refinery. That anything, that's going to be the next thing we need to scale up. That's this whole production chain. Now we could try to do that with a train. Hmm. <clears throat> how would that, how would we do that? We could easily put a little terminal station here. Have a train run on the same track and be able to supply the oil to the fuel refinery instead of doing it with all these wagons. That would work. This guy is making his way slowly. This is an expensive endeavor here. We're you know we're not making any money for this trip. In fact, I wonder if I could reverse him now. Save a little cash. Now I'm just trying to think of how we can increase the supply of the refined oil into our refinery, our fuel refinery. And if we should use a train to do that. And then if so, will we have train tracks running through here? Like maybe a terminating station here at the oil. And then a pass through here where we can either pass through, but we'll never be going from here directly to there. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're burning through the cash. Take a look at our lines real quick. See if the um, log lines ever became profitable. Oh, we still have one that's not. Very surprised by that. We may have just too many wagons doing this. Yeah, we might want to take off two wagons per line there to save some money. Why don't we do that real quick? Go in the vehicle manager. Um, Close this. Bring up or make that bigger. Close that. Let's do our logs and just send. Let's take two down from each and send them to the depot. Six less wagons. That should save us a little bit of money and hopefully increase the profitability of that route. What are these guys doing? I don't see backups. That's good. Hey, did our train pick up the first fuel? No, he's still making his way back. There's only seven units of fuel waiting. Uh, let's put this guy on wait for a full load. Let's go to the line. And when you're at Carrollton, full load any. Uh, maximum stop time, I don't care, six minutes, something like that. Did that take? Let me just make sure that took. Yep. Now we got to think about how we want to do this. This isn't too bad. Can we just run a pipeline? That would be even better. Not sure. Guess we could have a train station here. have a pass-through station here with two tracks and then a train that just runs between these two guys. I don't know if that would be profitable early on though. That's the only thing. Till we really scale up. Wonder if we should stick with truck or the wagons. Okay, our train is coming in. It's a tiny train. We do need to solve the oil part, though. Let's see. How would we do it? We would need a station here. Boy, these are expensive, though. How expensive. I was thinking a pass-through with maybe just two lanes to start. Let's see. Let's rotate. I think I actually just sunk this into the ground. Let me uh, bring this guy back up. I don't have the cash. by a million bucks. We could start with two lanes and grow it later. A little more affordable. Let me escape out of here and come back in. I think it's underground. Pro station. I could always expand this. I need it to be, I think a row, I can get these connected with a road, right? Yeah, I'm nervous about the cash. Super nervous about the cash. Let's, we're gonna have to hold off on that. we doing over here and all of this needs to scale up right all of this needs to scale up let's oh man it's hard to know what to do hard to know what to do love to put trains down but man they're expensive all right here's our first train did you actually get a full load he did 
Let's see what this guy is going to make for us. I'm going to go double speed for a bit. What are we doing on logs? We're starting to get a little more inventory now that we've taken trucks off. We took six wagons off of this off of these lines coming through here to pick up logs. Yeah, here our train. How far are you? You're, you get a ways to go yet. That is quite a trek. Yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is putting a train station here, pass through station, and then a branch coming off of this guy that can come in, pick up the oil, and take it back onto one of the other tracks here. We've got plenty. And then having another terminating station here, potentially, where we pick up the crude and deliver it into the refinery. I'm just not sure if that's going to be profitable with the small amount of fuel that we're actually shipping at this point. What we could look to do maybe next episode. Boy, there's just not much population here, though. I was going to say we could do some, you know, um, trams in here to try and raise a little money and grow this town a bit so their demand for fuel increases. That would make all of our train routes that have to do with fuel be more profitable, obviously. Okay, we're going to drop some off here. I'm going to go to single speed. I want to see if we can see how much we're going to make. Boy, this is... We can have a really long, powerful train. This is a long track. 108,000. That's not enough. Not enough. Is there anything we could take back? Not really. We'll see. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, we will pick it up next episode. We'll keep an eye on our existing road transit. We can take a look at our balance statement here on the way out. Road has been going down. That's, that's not good. That's not good. We may have to look into that. And we've made a lot of investments. Look at that. That's our railroad, I think. 2.9 million. Plus another 763,000. Probably for some of the vehicles that we put on the um, this new route for the fuel. But it looks like we will turn a profit this month, this quarter, as long as we're frugal and our train doesn't run us into the ground, fence-wise. Yeah, we'll pick it up next episode. For now, this is Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.